these directions too. And these dioxin cartridges are being released by the wood treating facilities and they match the fingerprint conjunct for what's coming out of the wood treating facility. So when you go to Mossville, there's a uh, polyvinyl chloride manufacturing facility that the dioxin fingerprint matches those. When you come here to Alexandria Condil, it's a different fingerprint of conjunct but the ones in your blood match the ones being released by the wood treating facility. And then if you go near an incinerator or you go near an electric generating facility, you have different kinds of fingerprints. So you can directly connect it back to the wood treating facilities here in your community. So in addition, the study determined that there are significant potential for contaminants related health risks in communities surrounding the wood tree facilities. So what happened with the human health impacts? We talked about that creosote and we talked about penicor vanilla. So here we have exposure to dioxin and urates causing endocrine disruption, reproductive and developmental defects, immunotoxicity, hepatotoxicity, neurotoxicity, leukemia, chloracne, hemorrhagic, Carcinogen affects cancer, alters liver function, affects nervous system, and increased risk of heart disease. And if we did a survey, I'm sure we would have a high incidence of each one of those. So exposure to PAH is causing an increased risk of developing breast, lung, and skin cancer, leukemia, respiratory toxicity, liver effects, damage to immune system, developmental effects, and reproductive effects. What happens when you mix those two chemicals and all the health impacts? You have exposure to both of those chemicals and all that constituents. The level of dioxin and purine found in human blood in this study further demonstrates that the residential area has been and are still being exposed to potentially unsafe levels in these contaminants due to past management practices of these facilities. So on the last page, we're going to talk about the request for the health assessment. Do you think you need a health assessment? So the risk associated with exposure to the polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons, dioxin, and all the other chemicals that we've seen as we go through this process into the air and the water by the wood treating facilities, and the dioxin content in your blood and in added dust has been evaluated separately. We talk about each one separately. We need to do a cumulative impact. What happens when you're exposed to these at the same time? The contaminants of the soil, sediment, and groundwater cause historical operations at the wood treating facility also need to be included in the health assessment. And all of the historical and current facility operations and what they are doing to your impact needs to be included. We don't want them coming in and saying, we're just going to look at this piece. They need to look at all the pieces and all the pieces together. The concerned citizens of Alexandria should request the Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry to perform a health assessment which includes the cumulative pathways of exposure, multiple chemical exposure, and associated health impacts. The information that we thus far have on the two wood treating facilities and the closed portions of each of the facilities, the blood and the adicyl dioxin, the air sampling results, the PAHs, are sufficient to demonstrate that community members around the wood treating facility are being exposed to hazardous substances that are being currently released by the facility and they will justify the need for the health assessment. But in order to have sufficient data for that health assessment, additional data on the air emissions being released in the wood treating facilities in Alexandria and Pineville need to be collected by EPA and DEQ, which we just asked and you need to ask them as well, before the health assessment is performed. DEQ is proposing additional sampling. It is requiring the responsible parties, Roy, Martin, and Stella Jones, to perform additional sampling. All of this data, as well as data from additional sites, such as the Alexandria Irons Supply, Autofield Scrap, Rust and Foundry, Chapman Lake Canal, Hunters Park, 
and Chapel Street, located in close proximity to the wood treating facility, must be included in the ATSDR health assessment. You need to ensure all of it's included so that they can adequately assess what's going on in your community. Thank you. Uh, and I think 
Uh, public health need to come in for the 21st century. That's right. With all due respect to you, uh, I was at the National Conference down in New Orleans. Y'all got to come in the 21st century. That's true. Because we got people dying here. Everybody gonna help us do this? 
You know, we just want to have just go let them out and let them die. That's what I want. Listen, just tell you this. You see this guy from Huron, this sample? I'm one of his love gifts as well. I gave 10 bottles of blood. And it proved positive that I do have dogs in Huron in my blood. And they would, uh, uh, they went into my sister's home and they found the attic dust. It was so bad, it was contaminated off the chart. Nobody told us anything. <laughs> Nobody said a word. Nobody been out. And you know what? Mm. My sister died mm. of colon cancer. Mm. My brother got colon cancer. See, it, I mean, yeah. we all have somebody, anyone in here, Murder. 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 